Now that we have the project ready, we can add an estimate so that we can get started. Just click the Add button at the top or right mouse click in the space and select New Estimate. And we're just going to call this as Estimate 1. And uh, let's say give it a, a unique number so that it doesn't conflict with any other estimates that you have. call it EE1. Now once we hit enter here then uh, we have a full uh, dialog of options and one is to copy the dates and durations from the project which I'm going to leave checked and we're going to use live count as the input device. Um, also we're going to copy an existing estimate. If we uncheck this we can just start with a blank estimate altogether, like completely nothing in it. But a better option, I think, is to start with either one of the Acubit templates, which you can access through that ellipsis button. We can go to the Acubit templates and select a starting point for our next estimate here. So we've got two electricals, four mechanicals, and we're just going to pick that top electrical and we're going to get started. Click OK. And that's our, um, our template, if you will. Now, you also have the option of selecting any other estimate that you've done in the past. And if that's the case, if you want to use one of your previous estimates that has, you know, that's all set up, that has all of your labor in it, has all of your indirects, have all, all of your overhead markups and everything in it already, you could use that as your starting point rather than a, um, a blank template. Of course, we'd want you to create your own template so that you've got all of your own information in there rather than using an Acubit template that um, is just uh, blank and out of the box. So if this was an estimate that you've pre previously done the takeoff with, you can uncheck the takeoffs and extension, and that will be ignored when the copy takes place. So we'll click OK to that, and it's just going to create that new estimate. The first page that we're going to see is the info page, and we can fill in the uh, information that we need there in order to get started. Now that I've shown you the long way to uh, create an estimate and a project, uh, we'll take a look at a shortcut here. Because on the folder level here, we could say add a estimate right off the bat. And what we can do is create that estimate using the same process that we did a moment ago, except that it'll also create the project at the same time. So we'll call this project two, and we'll just call it P2 for now. We'll copy the same estimate, and the system will create the project as well as the estimate. So you can see that this is a quicker way to get started, rather than creating the project first and then creating the estimate later. We hope you enjoyed this video. Visit mep.trimble.com for even more product resources.